Hey guys, today, um, just kind of an update video, not really a tutorial, didn't really have time to do it, but just what I've been doing on my car, um, let's see, as you can see, I pulled a lot of stuff out, and there's even more in the garage, and right in here, you can see I've taken off the timing belt, taken out the water pump, I'm going to replace the CHTS right there, um, replacing all the belts, I did accidentally break the fuel pressure sensor thing that connects to there, there's a little thing. So, get, I'll splice a new wire for that or something. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly what I'm putting in here. I've got some stuff up in my room that I'll show you guys. Alright, here's some of the stuff that I got for my car. Uh, there's kind of a lot of stuff here, a lot of boxes. Some of the stuff I've already taken down. I got new belts for the fans, new timing belt that i got to put on. I got a new camshaft sealer seals. There were two. I brought them downstairs already. I'm putting them in. Um, I got some sea foam to decarbonize. Um, new water pump. I forget what this was. I've got a new PCV valve and a new CTHS. Um, since I'm taking everything off, why not do that? Um, that's a lot of stuff that I have. I'll show you the water pump with the seal on it. All right, so here's the new water pump. Put the gasket on with a little bit of seal on it. Nice and shiny, brand new. Got new studs for it too, so that's going to be all nice. I'm just waiting to put that on until I got everything all cleaned off. So, hopefully I'll be able to get this done this weekend, probably next weekend if anything. Um, I don't know, I think I'll probably need to get a new tensioner right here. Uh, this one looks kind of corroded, I don't know. I've read some things online that say you should just replace it anyway. Um, just probably factory, if I had to guess. Um, I'm going to put the new water pump in in just a sec, and I'm trying to get these cam seals out because I got some new cam seals. Um, haven't really been able to make any headway with getting those out. I'll have to look up some more. Um, other than that, this is my car right now. Hopefully, I'll be able to post a video next week of her running. Alright guys, quick update. End of day one. Got the new water pump in. Um, I put the new CHTS sensor in, but um, I'm going to need a new harness because I accidentally cracked uh, this one. Uh, new oil seals, the cam seals, up and top. Uh, those were really hard to get out. Um, upcoming, I'm going to get a new tensioner because that one's... It doesn't really sound very good when it spins. Probably bearings are getting worn out, so I'm going to get a new one of those. And then it's just a reassembly. Um, and I really want to paint the uh, covers gold, gold and red I think would look really cool, but we'll see if that comes. Alright, thanks guys. Alright guys, just a little quick video on how to take out your CHTS sensor. Um, so as you can see, right above the water pump to the left of the right cam, um, you're going to need a 3 fourths deep socket to get it. You're going to unplug this uh, connector, the harness, and then we're going to stick this over and pull it right out. Uh, I don't have my camera with me, so I'm not going to be able to really set this. This is my phone, but I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and show you guys. Alright, so as you can see, this one had one of those little clips on it. It just goes around the outside of this, and uh, if you guys can get that off, then it just slides right out. And now we're going to go ahead and put our three-fourths on that and pull it right out. All right, got the old one out, and I got our new one here to replace it with. We're just going to do a quick inspection, make sure they look pretty close to the same. It's actually the new one's a little bit different. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of research to make sure that it works the same. It was listed under coolant temperature sensor, though, um, and it did have the right part number. So maybe it's just an improvement. I got this one from uh, Beck and Arnley. I don't know, let me see, I have the box right here. This is Beck and Arnley. Um, so I'll go ahead and double check, make sure it works. Um, but it looks like it should. I've read a lot of things in the forums, just like that. So um, I'll go ahead and stick it in, but I probably won't get this started enough time to... Uh, I'll, I'll have time to look it up first, is what I'm trying to say. There we go. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, to reinstall, I just literally screw it back in and put a new clip on. Alright, one thing to note guys is this will only go on in one direction. And as you can see my new one there, 
is actually upside down compared to the old one. And so this actually broke a little bit on the end of the harness right there. So it is recommended that you buy a new harness, this wire. It just goes up in connection to this connector right there. So it is recommended you buy one of those. I decided I'll just try this first. Um, but I'm going to end up getting a new one of these because this one's just old, cracking. Um, so yeah, there you go. If you buy your CHTS, uh, which is like 15 bucks, I think, at Rock Auto, uh, make sure to buy Harness. I think you have to get that from NissanPartsDeal.com. Um, that's the least where I'm going to go get mine. All right, thanks, guys.